We're here with Joseph Price, head coach of Dilly University's men's basketball team. What a ball game tonight. Came up short by three points, but you guys just didn't go away. Y'all fought all the way to the end. What you can say about your team's effort and about the last couple sec seconds you guys had a chance at the end? Yeah, I'll tell you, the ball bounces in strange ways. You know, I think I'm really proud of our players. We fought really hard. We kind of got down too much in the first half, and we struggled, and, and they really fought our way back in the game. We're really proud of our kids. Uh, you know, a couple loose balls here, or layups here. They, Xavier hit a couple shots at the last buzzer. So the ball bounced around the, uh, the wrong way, and maybe the game was different. But what a great effort by Crosstown. Uh, rivals and Xavier and, 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 and the, the Dillard Blue Devils. That was a great, great uh, performance by both teams, and it's just great for New Orleans basketball. It seems like, you know, you guys kept on chipping a big lead and everything else, but at the same time, it seemed like Xavier answered everything they threw to just kept them in the fold in double figures. Yeah, we just kind of thought they did a great job, but we just kind of ran out of time, and uh, we kind of started our role and then coming back. Uh, we had a couple of situations, we gave them a couple of offensive rebounds. That kind of hurt our progress and, and getting back early in the game. It was a great effort on both teams and just proud of my, the way my players reacted. Down in the end, pressing to, to get back and get a couple of steals. So great job on both parts. It seems like, you know, sometimes, you know, Raheem is usually shoots the ball well, but a lot of the other players stepped up. First half, 20% shooting, but a lot of improvement in the second half and shot much, much better. And it seems like, your team just kept fighting, and you really wanted them to – you looked like y'all had a chance to – why be still in the win it over here at the Cough Cage Center? Yeah, well, I just – it's a lot of credit goes to our players, knocking down free throws in the end. And uh, – uh, but the problem was we just gave them too much of a spread and it was hard, very difficult to fight back. As I mentioned, we got ourselves in the, in the hole the first half being down 15. We didn't shoot the ball well. And, and people know that, that we normally scored much better than what we did. But the first half kind of dictated the whole game. Had we had a better, much better first half, we missed a lot of layups and had a, a lot of great opportunities, and we just couldn't knock them down the first half. So that put us behind the eight ball. But just proud of my guys, the second half coming out with more energy and more urgency to get back in the game, and we did that and made it a really good game in the end. What you can say going uh, to your next game, look like you're going back in the conference and everything else, what you can say going from tonight going forward? Well, we can continue this effort to second half. I think we'll be fine. Uh, we have our, our full in Oakwood on, on next Sunday. Then we play uh, the leading, leading uh, program in our conference, the GCAC in Tougaloo. That's going to be a hard-fought game. So we just got to get a rest and, and get our legs underneath us and get ready to, to, to battle Oakwood and then Tougaloo, and then we have Philander Smith. Three games in three days. So our legs is going to be tired, but I, I love our urgency that we, we displayed the second half. And if we can just continue that for next weekend, I think we'll be okay.